What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the set of CJ's first cooking show. Good to be here. I happen to be CJ. You do. That's Nate. I am. That's E. He was. Hey. <laughs> hey, uh, so glad that you guys are here. If this is your first time showing up to the show or stumbling upon it, get ready for a much more unique experience than you might be Just used to in the past. Give it, give it five minutes. That's Don't right. Don't click off yet. But we have a lot of fun. A lot of cooking, a lot of quoting, a lot of shenanigans. Oh. But on this show, I like to um, diversify myself, if you will, wow. by finding maybe some other restaurants or recipes that might give me inspiration. So today, I came up with what I think is an original one. Yeah. We're gonna make a Bloomin' okay. Onion yep. Bacon Cheeseburger. Bring it. And we're gonna make our own onion rings, our own special sauce. It's gonna be freaking amazing. Wow. Rag-a-dag, ridgy ditch. Get on ya. First thing you gotta know, you gotta have your Blackstone behind you that's been warming up. I've actually got an aluminum tin that's onto the side over there. Put some vegetable oil, get that sucker cranked up to like the 350, 375 mark, because that's where we're gonna fry our mm, bloomin' onions. Crispy. Um, but we're not there yet. Where we are right now is oh, to bacon, bacon territory. Because with any good burger, there's a few components. Number one, beef. Number two, cheese. Number three, in my personal opinion, bacon. is bacon. And you know what follows right behind that? Green chili. Oh, dude, you ruin it with green chili. Shut up. Somebody left a comment saying that I need to uh, show you how it's the done. The magic of green chili? The magic of green chili. Okay. Show you how to make it happen. Point is, you want to use thick cut mm. bacon for this recipe. It smells so good. Only time you use thin bacon, like just traditional, if it says thick. Holiday in like continental breakfast bacon. <laughs> That's right. So it's continental then? Mm -hmm. So we've got um, some beef, 80-20 beef. Uh, that I've rolled pre, I've, I've pre-rolled, i pre-formed. Uh, so this is like what, three or four ounces? Two, yeah. Yeah. So it's a decent burger. Fun little trick I'm gonna teach you guys. Smash burgers, they are a thing. There is an art to smash burgers. And if you have Here. parchment paper, Craft. if you have pa pa parchment paper, uh, <laughs> top of the morning, paper, 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 have you paper. seen such a thing as paper? <laughs> Have you ever seen paper? So if you put your beef ball down, let it sit there for just a second, and give it one quick flip, then you have this part of the beef that's already cooked. Oh, yeah. Good then move. you can smash this, it and it doesn't stick. stick. It's literally a non-stick beef situation. Believe it or not, now I don't want to tell everybody this, but uh, when Nathan and uh, CJ was here, CJ, yep. CJ, show me a trick. It's happened to you, I've seen it. Never. Probably nobody else has seen it because we've cut so Never. that you look like you're doing it perfectly. Never a time. But in this situation, that is how you guys how you can do? make an awesome beef patty smashed without parchment paper. If oh, you yeah. have some, I highly recommend it. It is so choice. Do a little bit of kosher salt. Thank you for the reminder. You know, I'm although here for this, you. this recipe is going to be loaded with flavor, you still don't want to forget some of the fundamentals. And so we got some coarse black pepper, some kosher salt. And you know what, while we're here, speaking of fundamentals, Ooh. let's not burn our bacon. Oh my Good land. looking bacon. Oh my Atlanta. Name that movie. That's a random one. Oh, right. ah, hey, hey, hey. E for the 10 pointer. All right. Dude, I don't know that I've ever flipped bacon and it looks so perfect in all my life. You don't need to discuss it. I agree, but, but still. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, not forget to come back to that very, <laughs> very shortly. We're gonna wait just a second. I'm gonna pull that bacon off here in just a moment because I do not want burnt bacon. True. If this is your first time here, I have a tendency to burn no, the bacon from time to while. time. From time to time. From time to time. Um, I'm gonna pull that off. I'm gonna flip my patty. I'm gonna move that over and I'm gonna add some cheese and let it hang out just for a second. And then we're gonna make some onion rings. Easy peasy. Lemon. <laughs> 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 exactly. <laughs> so while we have our bacon and our beef cruising, we got to start scooting through to our onion ring. So today I'm going to be using a yellow onion. Why? Mm. Because I love yellow onions. So we're going to be slicing this up to get some perfectly round onion rings. With that, we're going to grab a bowl and we're going to start 
incorporating all of our other dry ingredients. Now first you're gonna have two bowls. One's gonna be your dry flour seasoned flour and then we've got our eggs and our milk in another. So to our flour we're gonna be adding uh, some paprika, a little bit of cayenne paprika. pepper. What? Paprika. Paprika? Paprika. That, that doesn't make sense. Uh, some cayenne pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, some oregano and salt and pepper to taste. Now mm. in our wet mixture it's just We've got some milk, we've got some eggs. Of course, we've got some onions, yellow onion specifically, that we are gonna be slicing up into perfect little rings. We're gonna get that in our wet, what do, we, oh. what do you say, the wet mix, the, yeah. the bath? The wet yeah. bath. The wet. Every bath is wet. That's we're gonna, true. <laughs> we're gonna be putting our onion rings in the milk and the eggs and making its way to our seasoned flour and from there, we are heading to our oil. Now you wanna make sure your oil is up to temp. You gotta be at least 365. Yep. Uh, kind of in that you can give or take a little bit, but you definitely don't want to cook this too fast because mm -hmm. then you're going to just have burnt onion rings. Yep. Uh, so we want to have that nice golden onion ring look to it. Put all of those in there. Make sure that they've all been coated perfectly. Don't walk away because this does not take long. And my friends, it's time to move on to our sauce. All right, guys, we are officially in cruise mode. So let's get our wet and dry mixture out of here. I'm actually going to utilize. You made a mess. I'm going to utilize this bowl. Yeah, I totally made a mess. We've got a few components that are gonna come into play for this special sauce. So we're gonna do one part uh, Duke's mayo. Mm. Then we're gonna do, I Ooh, wouldn't, the say, horseradish I wouldn't say we're gonna do a full whole part, but. Ooh, um, are you sure? Because <laughs> you just went through a wall. <laughs> We've got some ketchup. Ketchup. Now, this is where the fun is also going to come into play. We're going to use a lot of the same seasonings. We've got some regular paprika. Ooh, okay, I thought yep. it was the cayenne, dude. Oh, no. You scared oh. me for a second. <laughs> now, here's the cayenne. Let's be Ooh. not... Wow, really? Dude, this is the way it is, bro. Okay. You, know, you just got to trust me. I'm just, I'm on just the Just trust this is the way. This is that a boy. This is the way. We've got some garlic powder, and now we've got some oregano dude take it easy tom cruise <laughs> are you saying that that i'm speeding down the highway oh I, I didn't know if it was risky business or not yeah that too that too so we've got a little yeah. bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to taste now let's get okay i'm watching those onion rings <laughs> don't don't you go dying on me <laughs> don't you go dying on me i'm gonna move the bacon off here and I'm going to acquire some more paper towels. And uh, also to note, I turned my heat off of my hamburgers. You just want to melt that cheese. I just wanted to melt the cheese a little melt bit. Queso. <laughs> exactly. Let's see. Oh, dude. Blimey. You... Dude, I love it. Those are going to be so good on ya. So good on ya, mate. It's a blooming onion. Dude, these Cheers. look awesome. So this is going to pair so well because we used all the same seasonings in the Bloomin' Onion is uh, what we're sauce. using for our special Bloomin' Sauce. All right, last couple more here, Dude, boys. These look fantastic. Yeah, like just just right, right? Right. Right. Am I right or am I right? Right. 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 Where are you going with the beef, okay? I was just going to set it right over here. Okay, fine. Because I, I did want to get that off. <laughs> but while I have all the beef fat okay. cruising over here. Whoa, you're doing more? Just real quick. I think it's important that we show a little love uh, to our hamburger bun. You know, I saw some comments, people not appreciating that we don't toast. I don't always toast the bun. It's not, it's not, it's not mandatory. always mandatory, but in the right application, I think it works really well. Is this the right application? Today's the right application okay. because I'm doing it. And... Uh, dude, while that's cruising, real okay. quick, real, real quick, we've got our romaine lettuce and our tomatoes. If you don't, I don't know, there's just something that's taken place in my life when I've started cooking a whole lot more. I became a fan of what lettuce does. It's not a flavor thing, it's a texture thing. Oh yeah. And then it's what it also allows the rest of your recipe to do. Like sitting on a bed of lettuce allows you to keep it away from all this, the, the gooiness, the sauciness, mm. which might infiltrate Listen to you. What has happened? I, I do not know. You're going into overdrive, going into hyperspeed. Hyperspace, hyperspeed. <laughs> Same thing. I'm just in a hurry. Let's, mm. let's. Ooh, we got a nice little toasty. <laughs> Time to build. My friends, nice it is toast. simple. It is beautiful. It is elegant. So we the got... blooming onion is coming from the crispy fried onions, the sauce, and the flavors. Yeah. 
the Flava Flav. Obviously. So we got to start off with our toasted bottom bun. Then on top of that, we're definitely going to be putting down some of that Bloomin' Onion sauce. This is the magic of this monster right here. You gotta have that. We're gonna do pickles <laughs> on top of that. Thanks. Then on top of that, we're gonna do a little bit of bed of lettuce, some tomato, then our beef and cheese on top of that. Can you guess what it is, Ethan? Bacon? Onions, what? come on, dude. Dude, I wasn't. Thinking. Actually, it was bacon. Oh, he was right. You're right. Oh, right. yeah! 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 <laughs> So onto our bacon, and then yes, of course, on top of that, Nate, you win. Now it's our onions. Oh. We're gonna you do more slather a little top? bit of soft oh, yeah, sauce there on the crown. We're gonna crown this monster, and dude, this is such a beast. My friends, this is Take money. Take a gander. Would you have a look at that? Okay, this was money. Dude, those onion rings that's where it's at. are champions. All right, I'm gonna. Where it's at, good lord, that's a giant burger. Yep. You're not gonna, oh, I'm you just gonna cut on this there. one so we can see what's happening. What okay. do you think? Show me the goods. Okie dokie. Okily dokily. Okily dokily. You got all the stuff happening. Look at that. I think it's safe to say I slayed this. Are you sure? Speaking of slay, hey CJ, did you know? <laughs> that Carrie King actually breeds snakes. I hate snakes, Shock! Mm. Yeah, he has a thing called exotic, nope, psychotic exotics. And he breeds a few different kinds of pythons and boas. I hate snakes! And for a little bit here, uh, he bred show dogs. I like dogs. Who's Carrie? Carrie King from... From Slayer? Oh, Slayer. Yeah. Carrie Grant. There is a happy day far, far away. <laughs> oh, Harry Gary. Would you eat the moon if it was made of barbecue spare ribs? Would you eat it then? Okay, I don't think there's anything about this burger that did not come out the way I thought it was gonna come out at this point. Dang, I can hear all the magic. Interestingly yeah. enough, the first thing I tasted yeah. was the pickle that mixed up with the sauce at the bottom. Oh. It was a thick pickle, I like that. The bloomin' onion and the bloomin' sauce is money. Loaded up on a bacon cheeseburger? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Leave it in the comments. Let me know if you're down with Outback. Number two, are you down for a burger with Outback onion rings and blooming sauce on it? Number three, Outback, if you're watching. But, burgers aside, it's time to Literally. talk comments. Literally aside. Let's talk some nice comments. Let's talk some mean comments. Let's talk about CJ's favorite comments of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. This, my friends, is the segment of the show where I get to acknowledge you. I screenshot comments from you, the viewers. Mm -hmm. If you write it. We read it. That is exactly right. So that's basically the point of CJ's favorite comments of the week. It all started back in the day. When people, people were, were always so kind. <laughs> people were throwing a lot of hate and a lot of shade, and I was laughing about it constantly at night. So starting from the top, in no particular order, this very first comment comes from Seth Career. Logan. Seth Career? C Carrier. Carrier. Seth says, I only have one question for you, CJ. Do you find Bugs Bunny attractive when he puts on a dress and play the girl bunny? <laughs> no. <clears throat> Neither did I. I was just checking. All right, Seth. Seth. That was just way too clever. Money. Well played, my friend. Boom. Love that you understand the aesthetic and the comedy. I've seen his first comedy show. Okay. Samuel. L. Jackson. Almanaza49 says, I love you guys. All right. But please don't call this chilaquiles. Oh. This is like calling Del Taco Mexican food. Ouch, town. Population you, bro! Only thing that I didn't necessarily do was actually just simmer it in the salsa. Hmm. Verde. Samuel L. Crapson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, this is a fun quick one. Kit Harrison says, to the point, Jack Wagon. <laughs> <laughs> He's telling you to get to the point? Yeah. Because he wants to get to the point. He enjoys the show. He watches all the way through because he really wants to make your food. 
searching that one out. Ah. Yeah. Uh, ah. Uh. Sorry, Kit. Not gonna happen. Kit Cloud Kicker. <laughs> this is my show. And on my show, we cook. Okay, uh, this one comes in from Super P Fife. Super Fife. Super Fife. This is a fun one. It, it takes me back home to the 505. Love your show. You could totally teach Nate how to use Hatch Green Chili. I should send you some Specialty Dion's Ranch to use. If you know. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you struck an accord with, with E over there. Uh, also, this is great. You kind of sound like Ryan Reynolds. I swear. And Nate sort of sounds like Edward Norton. Hello, New Jersey! Huh. Not sure about Ethan yet, but he looks like Mitch grew up from dazed and confused. I'm just, I'm being a bad actor. <laughs> oh, being, yeah! Being dazed you and just, confused. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, like, what are you doing? Yeah. Super Fife. Super Fife. Give it up to the 505. And yes, send me some Dion's ranch. Oh, this comes in from DX. Give it to you. DMX. Nope, just DX. Oh, got it. It's the bargain version. Oh, half. Mm -hmm. Not even the right recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do they know the recipe? It's the Elvis French toast. Oh. It was an Elvis inspired French toast. Not even the re there is no recipe. There is we no recipe. Up. I pulled up. I've already pulled over. You can't pull over any farther. It's literally an Elvis inspired French yeah. toast. I used the components that he loves. So wait a minute. You're Maybe not the Elvis. right recipe. Maybe it's Elvis. I'm freaking out, man. Okay, this last one comes in from Patrick McDuffie. Crazy. McDuffie. Ooh. McDuffie? McDuffie. Well, Patrick says, please stop with the comments. This makes the videos suck. CJ, I like your channel. Maybe Darkwing Duck. But not really. You launch <clears throat> mess up your boy's channel. This is actually on your show. Oh, see? He doesn't like me talking. On my show? Yeah. But he's a fan of mine? Mm, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Patrick. Right you make suck. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep quack. talking. Quack. 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 So grateful for you guys to stick around, hang out with us, and enjoy the show. Hopefully, you enjoyed the recipe and you're going to try this at home. It's a good one. Definitely want to try this one. The onion rings, bang. It I tastes think... like it would be on the menu at Outback. It's exactly. Thing I said. The only thing that I would do about the onion rings is I would add a little bit more salt. Mm. But it's salt to taste. So technically, I nailed it. For someone. <laughs> I nailed it for somebody. Be sure to go to blackstoneproducts.com for this recipe and all of the other recipes that you can find from the cooks on this channel. Mm. And the chef. GriddleNation.com. Also, nah, dude. Also, it's a party. Also, if you guys want to see uh, something that you would like up on the OG board, just send it to me. I'll put it up there. Let me know in the comments down below what you would like me to cook for my next recipe. I would love to hear what you guys are thinking. But that being said, this is definitely CJ's first cooking show. Mm -hmm. And if you hadn't figured it out yet, this is where we cook. And we quote. Yep. We will see you guys next week. <coughs> Cheers. Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Mazel. Mazel. Good things. Good things.